ذكرت في تقريرك أن الجرائم ما زالت ترتكب في الآونة الأخيرة في المنطقة هل تقصد دارفور فقط أم في كل أنحاء السودان؟ Well, clearly, there's from multiple sources there's allegations of crimes being committed throughout of Sudan, throughout Sudan. But uh, I was focusing particularly on Darfur because that was the clear parameters of the original referral. And uh, my view, of course, judges will uh, check it if we apply for warrants. But it's the clear view that uh, there's a nexus between what is happening today by the Sudanese armed forces and the RSF, the Rapid Support Forces, and what. Um, compelled the Security Council to refer the matter um, originally to my office and to the court in 2005. And so um, those allegations in Darfur clearly are a priority to me. And I'm considering other uh, allegations outside Darfur as well. But what is, in my assessment, clear is jurisdiction in relation to crimes within Darfur. And it doesn't matter if the perpetrator, the alleged suspect, is outside Darfur or even outside of Sudan. Um, you know, nobody has a license to commit genocide, war crimes, or crimes against humanity, and we need to make sure that that legal principle is felt by those who have the power they feel to oppress and to kill and to destroy. Because um, we've got to, as a species, we have to build a world in which this is no longer acceptable. لكن هل لديكم أي تقارير تحدد أسماء القادة الحاليين في العمليات العسكرية الجارية في السودان والتي تحدث في البلاد على نطاق أوسع؟ I think there's a, uh, there are a lot of reports, a lot of communications have been received with a lot of allegations. Uh, I don't accept those on face value. I must verify them and authenticate them and make sure whatever finding I reach is inshallah reliable and it is authentic and it is truthful and so it's not appropriate to mention names i'm following the evidence but this is really last chance saloon and i've mentioned all parties to the conflict and the commanders of those parties i encourage them for the sake of uh, humanity and for the sake of justice to contact my office as quickly as possible and start communicating i I'm, i think we're all tired of the promise of cooperation we need to start seeing practical cooperation and I think that's what is required right now. It is to take action. Don't wait for there to be a peace while people are being killed yesterday and today uh, and uh, tomorrow. It is to act in a way that we try to protect as many people as possible before even more harm is committed to the you know, uh, people of Sudan.